Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review A Little White Lie, and this is a new comedy from writer-director Michael Marin, and this is a film about a handyman living in New York City who is mistaken for a famous author and invited for this festival at a college, and Michael Shannon plays Shriver, who is this handyman who gets mistaken for being this really famous writer of this one book, and he's whisked away to this college by Kate Hudson, uh, Simone Cleary, who's a professor there who's running this whole show. And you have the likes of Don Johnson, who's another one of the uh, one of the other professors there. And you have uh, Divine Joy Randolph, who's another writer who's coming to this festival. And this story, this film has elements I like. And then in other ways, is a hot mess. Michael Shannon is great. As always, you have Michael Shannon, he's very timid in this role, but you have this, like, other Shriver that he sees that feels much more of, like, the Michael Shannon you expect generally when you see him on screen. And their dynamic is interesting, and his arc and where he goes is quite compelling, and him realizing, like, maybe he is a writer. Maybe he does have these talents, and you have this journey that he goes on. It's interesting. I think his dynamic with Kate Hudson, I think it's an interesting dynamic. I, I didn't really buy it going full-blown romance. And that kind of took me out of the film. I do love his interactions with Don Johnson. I think Don Johnson is a very interesting character that he plays as T. Wesserman, this poet, in this film. I think those are and interesting, and Joy Randolph, she's hilarious. She's a great addition to this film. And there's a lot of other recognizable people sprinkled in throughout this film. And Mehmet Walsh, still kicking, playing one of the English faculty there. But the issue is, there's so many subplots here, and things that I feel like never really get fully resolved. And they bog down the story, they messy the story, there's some misguided storylines that just feel unnecessary, and I guess they were going for a laugh, but it really didn't pay off. And then it all smashes together in this finale, this third act, that looks like they couldn't get all the actors together, so there's people just awkwardly in front of green screen, which looked horrible and not only was it a hot mess of trying to slam so many storylines together but literally couldn't even bring everybody together physically and it showed and it looked it looked so bad and it just took me out of the film and the fact that this film didn't have as satisfying of an ending to match like the pretty compelling main through line here just disappointed me a lot and it's very flatly directed. There isn't a whole lot of personality to it. It's very workmanlike and bland. And in general, it's a messy film. It has elements that I liked, but overall, not something that I would go around saying, like, hey, you should check out A Little White Lie. It just, there's too many things that didn't work to balance out the things that I think did really work. But those are my thoughts on A Little White Lie. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.